Hello there. We're doing an update on our Wallapini. It's September 24th, 2022. As you can see, we're putting stringers across these poles, posts, that the Gambian walls are built around. And that will be the support that I put the web trusses. This would be the front of the building. And we're putting these timbers, these stringers, on the gable end here, this is the west, south, and that would be the east, and then the back wall there, the north. So we're in the process of installing timbers right there. As you can see, we've got these corkscrew um, wires on top of the cages here, and that helps tie that whole assembly on the top together and really binds it good. Uh, so it's all one piece. So why we're doing these uh, timbers, of course they'll support the front of the building, the trusses, the web trusses, but also this is where we're going to be putting a pond liner, a waterproof liner, uh, and attaching it to the top and laying it down through the rock wall there, the cages. The entire this whole building would be wrapped in it from the outside here and then after that we apply our insulation so it gives you a good perspective of uh, the size of the building which is 25 by 50 uh, that'll be the back wall and beyond that we're going to just do a standard post and pole wall probably 15 feet high and that will support the back wall and the back of the trusses the web trusses. Did you talk about how thick the lumber is here? Yeah, this this uh, front edge, since most of the weight of the building is one slope roof, will uh, I went ahead and doubled up the timbers, and we went ahead and used hurricane anchors. I'll show you. All right, there's a good shot of a hurricane anchor that we're using uh, to attach these timbers, in which I've doubled up. You see, I'm stitching the inside to the outside, uh, went ahead and put uh, good uh, six inch screws there as you can see. So, um, and that will be taking the bearing weight of the front of the trusses. This is the front of the building. So I'll go ahead and bob those post tops off so it'll be nice and even across there. In between each truss, which is approximately around 34, 36 inches, on center we will have windows so the whole the whole front will have windows here and then our polycarbonate starts on top of the trusses on the inside of the timbers here you see I put the hurricane angle mounts uh, we went ahead on the inside and painted that white okay you can see pretty much all the way around is white uh, we're looking for a reflective uh, of the light there so that's why we've done that in such a way. And I will give you perspective on the outside of the wall. All right, this is a good perspective inside the trench here. You can see the outside timber, which is attached to those posts. I went ahead and, and painted a pressure treat on it because that is what we're going to be backfilling uh, the ground with. So you want to prevent any rot or anything going on right there. So it's a pressure treat you can buy uh, 25 year or something like that is on the can but uh, on the outside here that we're applying the uh, pond liner in this area uh, and then if there's any backfill here that touches that wood it'll be pressure treated so another good luck at, at installing these uh, stringer timbers they're about two and a half three inches thick so we got plenty of support to tie these posts, these gabion walls. Um, and like I said, that'll be pressure treated on this side. It's white on this side and pressure treated on this side. Quick note, I've got about uh, 15 web trusses there, approximately 28, 29 feet in length, all two before construction, about 18 inches high. Like I said, there's 15 of them, and they're all painted white. So we went ahead and painted a bright white semi-gloss. So like, again, we want that 
light reflecting inside the wallapini in which they will set right on the front you can see a, a longer shot uh, this video is more of a technical on the construction side so uh, there's more to come as we uh, progress along in our project but we just wanted to do an update for you so uh, keep watching